Okay, dear okay, student, let us see what is there in this question. Three point charges plus Q plus Q and negative Q are fixed at three corners of a square. What is the direction of electric field at the fourth corner? So what is the direction of the electric field at the fourth corner? Let us see. So this is uh, plus Q. This is minus Q and both of them are equidistant from this point. And this distance like charge for this is plus Q, but distance is bigger. So the electric field strength will be lesser. But in the case of plus Q and the minus Q, uh, the magnitude will be the same. Direction will be uh, different. So let us first concentrate on these two charges. So this charge will be producing an electric field away from it. And this charge will be producing an equal electric field, but towards itself like this. These will be the two uh, values. So our resultant for this can be created, which will be like this, and that will be quite bigger. So I can now erase these two. So this is the resulting electric field because of this charge and this charge. And obviously um, that is going to be like, because both of them were equal, this angle was supposed to be 45 degrees. So I can clearly say that this is the diagonal here. So this will be parallel to the diagonal. Okay, these two lines will be parallel to each other. Um, I, I repeat my explanation here just, just a moment. Positive charge is creating electric field like this. Negative is creating negative like this. Both of them have the same magnitude. So the net electric field will be at 45 degree angle with this. And that is why I say that they these two, like the electric field and the diagonal will be parallel to each other. So this positive charge now will be creating an electric field which is which will be kind of lesser in magnitude okay but 90 degree to this because this is uh, the diagonal like this so it will be along this diagonal it will be 90 degree angle but it will be lesser clearly b will be the correct answer a c and d uh, uh, they do not stand a chance so a c and d are wrong b is the correct answer for this uh, question nothing more we have to think from this point of view only there is no mathematics involved here okay so this is how we do this question if there is any doubt you can mention that in comment section thanks for watching the video please join the youtube channel if you want to access the online course and if you want to access paper to questions and once you join it those videos do not have the advertisements also so you can save your time by joining the youtube channel okay then all the best bye